There you go, it says again. So what are we doing today? We're going to be doing the valves. So the first thing we need to do is take those side panels off, the seat, the fuel tank, and we'll go from there. Reason being is I'm just going to go by the book. Why not? Valve clearance, 1,000 kilometers, 600 miles, so it is due. So let's just get straight into it. All right, so we might as well use the um, JIS screwdriver since it's, I think it's the only one I have. If we can get it out, do we have to pour the whole bag out? Probably pour the whole bag out. Oops. There it is. Left side panel. Oh, that was loose. That was lucky. Really loose. Alright. And the right side. Right, so the seat bolts are 12 millimeter. Let's just whack this bag off real quick. Should have done that first. Pull the seat back. And out. And what do I do? Here's a seat bolt. Just chuck it back in. Fuel tank bolt, uh, 10 millimeter. They're not actually extremely tight because they're only meant to crush the, the um, fuel tank rubber washers. Yep. Alright, don't forget the fuel hose. If I can get that around. Pull it down. I'll get a flat blade screwdriver just to work it off. Make sure your fuel is off. And I've got a wee paper towel just to catch the little bit of fuel that might come out. And try not to rip up your hose. At this point the tank should come straight off, but um, my brother 3D printed me this little hose vent holder. It's not important, but it was just a bit of fun. Alright, let's pull this tank off. Alright guys, so the tank's off, the seat's off, side panels are off. I just thought I'd let you know, be careful of these fuel tank cushions. They fall off really easy. So when you're putting it back together, just make sure they're still there. Or maybe even a bit of silicon to hold them on. Might be a good idea, who knows. Alright, what next? We'll clean out the dirt around the spark plugs. And we'll loosen one of these off. Alright, just to make sure nothing is going to fall into the engine. It should do it. The reason you remove one spark plug is it just helps it get top dead centre. They're not very tight. Alright. Looks like it's about out. There we go. Never seen the spark plugs before. They seem okay, but feel free to give me your opinions. Alright, what next? Now we just got to take off those valve covers that I've just noticed. It's a wee bit dirty. So we'll blow them off too, give them a bit of a clean. I have put the spark plug back in, just temporarily. So we'll blow Bit of a white. Hopefully it looks better on camera. Bit of WD-40 on these paper towels should help. It's a wee bit better. All right, let's get these caps off. 
So these are also 10 mil. Let's see if we can get it in one shot. There we go. It's loose. Take these off. Without hitting the camera. It's always hard when you get the camera right in the way. Alright. Here we go, guys. Just make sure you don't lose that and make sure that's clean. We'll, we'll grease it before we put it back on. And the exhaust valve cover. Oh, that one's a bit tight for the socket there. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't want to sit, so um, we'll get a spanner on it. 10 mil spanner for the front right exhaust. That's got it. Oh, came off nice and easily. All right, time to take these two off. Just give them away. Let me clean up. All right, let's see if these are seized or not. They shouldn't be. Hopefully not, because they're really easy to strip, especially this one. So this one's an eight millimeter. This one's a 10. Let's try the easy one first and hope for the best. Just try to keep it nice and straight and just give it a good tug. Come on. Oh, shit. Right, she's off. And I didn't strip it nor damage it. Awesome. Good news. Right, let's try the next one. That was honestly the first attempt. Just a little bang with the mallet really helps. I don't know if it was tight or loose, didn't want to risk it. I just went straight for the mallet. So thankfully, that wasn't um, too much of a hassle to get off. Okay, so what you want is a 17 millimeter. You want to be going anti-clockwise and you're trying to find top dead center here on the compression stroke. So I'll try to get the camera in there so you can see it. There she is. Now we just need to make sure that that is top dead center on the compression stroke and I'll show you how to do that. All right guys, so watch these in inlet valves. I'll rotate the engine again and you want top dead center to be after they have opened. All right, so let's do it. We'll just come down here and look. Rotating. And there's top dead there. Here's another little clue. If you just grab them, can you hear that? They're moving. Let's try that on the exhaust valves. Exhaust valves. There you go. The exhaust valves do have a, a little bit bigger tolerance, so that's that's normal. All right, let's check them. Let's get the feeler gauges out. So what we're checking is that little spot right there, the valve adjuster and the valve tip right there. Checking the gap between that. Right. So let's check this. I've got the biggest feeler gauge tolerance for the intake valve which is 0 0.13 so technically speaking I don't want this to really go in or it should at least be quite tight so by the looks of it no that doesn't want to go in so let's get a size smaller okay so I've got the size smaller so I can get it in there oh that goes in with a nice Amount of friction, see that? It's not tight and it's not loose. If you can listen, ready? That's perfect. That's right in the middle of the specs. So I'll check the other ones, see how we go, and then it's just a matter of putting the bike back together. 
Alright guys, so um, all of my valves are in spec, exhaust and intake, which is good news. Um, I won't have to do it for a while now. So all we have to do now is start putting the bike back together. So we'll put these back on just to prevent dirt from going into the engine. I know I should be wearing gloves guys, but I'm just going to put a wee dab of grease on the sealers because they do tend to dry out a little bit. Just a thin film is enough. Not overly excessive. A wee bit more. Yeah, that should do it. So we'll put that on. Just a gentle tighten guys. That's heaps. And the spark plug. A wee bit of grease. And I think you guys get the point. Uh, tank, seat, side panels, good to go. Make sure that you put your service history in your um, manual if you have one, just so you remember when to do it next time. Anyways guys, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Cheers.